dopey people apparently flock together. When you have a dumb question and you ask a dummy for advice, you will get a dumb answer. Just look at the recent advice column from Amy Dickerson in her syndicated column, Ask Amy. A father asks what to do after realizing his adult daughter, who's living with him, are you ready for this? Owns a gun. She uses a 40 and also uses, brace yourself for this one too, hollow point bullets. Oh, the insanity. The dad tells Amy he's so afraid that he locks himself in his own bedroom at night. Consider this. A dad who in one breath in the column says his daughter is smart and reasonable, now fears the sheer fact of her owning a firearm makes her dumb and dangerous, as if that 40 somehow wages mind control over her that she's going to kill everyone in the home. His solution? Make his daughter move out if she doesn't give up her gun. And he admits she will be forced to move into a place she can hardly afford, possibly putting her in even more danger. So what does Amy recommend? Stick with the plan, she says. Force your daughter out because somehow being a gun owner makes her a deranged loon capable of killing anyone, even her dad. The entire column is absolutely ridiculous and simply serves as more evidence as to how those on the left do not understand firearms or how they work, or even more importantly, who firearms owners really are. Amy even claims to have done her, quote, research that concluded that hollow point bullets are, quote, exploding. How do you do research and come up to that dumb conclusion? Here's my advice. Do not ask Amy for any advice. If she is dopey enough to think a loving daughter's mind will be taken over by an evil hunk of metal, if she is dopey enough to think hollow point bullets explode, if she is dopey enough to think the mere presence of a gun makes good people less safe, even dangerous, I'm not sure she's capable of reason of any kind. Meaning, the advice she gives is worth what the reader paid for it, nothing.